everybody, what, one of the things I'd like to do today is have a little revisit about thermal decomposition reactions. So I know some of you are struggling with it a little bit, okay? Um, so, some molecules, when we heat them up, we can break them down, we can split them into uh, smaller molecules, okay? I've got here some copper carbonate, so the green powder, okay? And you can see from the formula on the card that uh, copper carbonate is made of one copper atom, one carbon atom, and three oxygen atoms, okay? Tell that from its name, it's got carbon in it, and the ATA ending eight tells us it's got oxygen in it. So copper carbonate made of these five atoms, okay? When we heat it up, we can break bonds between some of those atoms in the molecule and split it up. A bit like taking apart three Lego bricks from the, from the five they were part of. The heat breaks that bond and splits them up. You can see at the end, we've still got our copper atom and our three oxygens and our carbon, but we've rearranged them. We've made new products. So this is a chemical reaction because we make something new but we're conserving mass. We've got all the same atoms at the end that we started with. The heat has just broken some bonds to make two simpler things from the one thing we started with. Okay. So, I've got my cup of carbonate in my boiling tube and I'm going to heat it up. Well, no reactions happened because there's a colour change and we're going to make a gas. We can test for carbon dioxide using lime water. So I've got some here. When you bubble lime water, carbon dioxide through lime water, the lime water turns cloudy. Okay, so we should be able to see that we've got a new solid because it's got a, diff a different colour and that we're making this gas and we'll see the bubbles and then we'll know that gas is carbon dioxide because the lime water will go cloudy. Straight away, you can see really steady stream of bubbles coming out of the collecting tube. And at the other end, you can see our lovely green copper carbonate starts to go black on the underside. The lime water slowly, as those bubbles of carbon dioxide go through it, is getting cloudier and cloudier and cloudier. So the heat's taken the copper carbonate and split it apart, broken it into two pieces. Copper oxide, the black stuff at this end, and carbon dioxide, the gas at this end, that's made our lime water really, really 